Welcome to Mondo Sellers. I'm sitting down with the Mondo boys, Mitch and Doug. They're hosting the June 9th event, Walk the Vine. Uh, can you guys tell me a little bit about your winery, Mondo Sellers? Well, we're on the west side of Paso Robles. We have 82 acres here. We've got the winery, we've got a bed and breakfast, and we have a little event area. And uh, we've been doing this for almost four years now. Well, whatever you're doing, you're doing something good because the wines here are excellent. So can you tell me a little bit about some of the current releases that you have available? Sure. Right now we've got the 2009 Boss, which is a Tempranillo and Tanat blend. It has a little cab, a little Zinfandel, a little Petite Syrah. Uh, we've got the Gigolo, which is our Pinot Noir with a little bit of uh, Petite Syrah. We've got a new cab we just bottled called the Snitch, which is delicious. Um, we've got a Chardonnay, we've got the Cielo, which is a white rum blend, a Viognier, uh, Grenache Blanc, and Roussan. So you guys have a lot of blends, interesting blends, Rhone blends, which actually brings me to a question I want to ask both of you. Uh, Paso Robles was really well known for its Zinfandels at first, and now it's just becoming like this Rhone zone. That's what I keep on hearing about it. Do you guys think that there's some sort of personality shift going on in Paso Robles? Well, you know, I don't know if it's a personality <laughs> shift, but I, yeah, and I, I still love the Zinfandel, obviously, from our area. But I will say, yeah, we've seen a, a, a real increase in, in the Rhone varietals, and of course we're big into it, and a lot of what we do is Rhone blends. And, uh, you know, with, with one of the top wines in the world being a, a Strahm of Edra Grenache blend from Westside Paso Robles, I, I certainly think we're, we're getting on the map on a, on a global uh, level, and that's a, that's a great thing for the region. And, and it seems the Rhones are just getting better and better. Well, you know, when we, when we formed the, the wine club, we, we, we came up with the Mondo Mob, and we just wanted to have fun with that. And we have the fedora was the logo or icon for the wine club. And we were wearing them behind the bar, and people were saying, hey, can I buy your hat? And we said, no, that's my getup. I have to wear it tomorrow. And so we ended up going down to downtown LA. We bought 100 of those hats, and we sold them. And then we've, we've been through two or 3,000 of these crazy fedoras. And, People wear them on Friday nights, and they come tasting here, and, and uh, they wear their, their their hats, and it's it's been it's been pretty fun. So the the uh, the wine club has been growing well, and we're we're really enjoying that. And, and the only and when you when you join, of course, you join the mob, you know. But the only downside is once you're in, you're in for life. So if you if you quit, we send somebody over. And it's, it's an exit. <laughs> we call it an exit interview. All right, all right. So you've heard it here. You've been warned. <laughs> well, another really interesting thing about Mondo Cellars is that you have an opportunity for guests to come and stay at the Mondo Villa. I mean, that's just a unique experience. What are the benefits of staying on site at the winery instead of just tasting? Well, having the bed and breakfast adds a, another unique level to the experience. Guests can not only go tasting, tasting the area, but then stay here. Then they get to stay out on the patio and relax throughout the evening. And, and for us, it's, it's a benefit, too, because on top of having some additional revenue from that, we get so many unique people traveling from all over the world, and we get to hang out with them and, and chat with them and get to know them on a more personal level. And so that's been a, that's been a real uh, plus, the, the having the bed and breakfast as part of the operation. That's great. Well, there you have it. You can come here for tasting, you can come here to stay, and you can definitely come for the June 9th Walk the Vine event. Cheers, boys. Cheers. <laughs>